Hey guys, Ry the Nerd here, and what is the most terrifying video game boss? Some of you might think it's Ron the Vaculous Spider. <laughs> Get him out of here. <laughs> you might think it's Omega Flowey. Oh my god, child's play compared to what we're talking about today. This boss has struck fear into the hearts of children alike, around the world, in fact. You have gathered your diamond armor. You have went through blood, sweat, and tears to try to find the realm where this creature lives. And once you step foot into its realm, you are not even prepared to, co to comprehend the amount of fear that you're going to face. Once you hear its roar, game over. The Ender Dragon. That's right. The Ender Dragon is one of the most terrifying video game bosses ever. And don't tell me you didn't feel the same way because i know that many of us when we played minecraft and you heard about the legendary ender dragon you might even think it's the wither that is the most terrifying minecraft boss no the ender dragon is the head honcho of terrifying video game bosses he is right up there with the wither <laughs> but don't worry all your childhood feels will become obsolete because guess what we're taking a look at a cute Ender Dragon plush for no reason, so, yeah. But yeah, after that amazing, terrifying intro, I know, it's terrifying. Your childhood fears are just coming towards you. Vietnam flashbacks are coming when you hear, when you see these purple eyes staring into your soul. But anyway, I don't want to give you PTSD, all right? I don't want to send you to a psychiatric ward. But today, we are taking a look at a Hallmark Itty Bitties uh, Minecraft Ender Dragon plush. A lot of Hallmark stuff. I like to take a look at Hallmark stuff during Christmas. I I have taken a look at Itty Bitties before. Uh, you can go check out some of those videos if you really want to. Uh, but the, this is my latest addition to my itty bitties collection which is quite small i don't usually like go out and seek them but like every single time when i go to because actually these guys and the ornaments that we usually pick up each christmas year they're always in the same store so i always pick up one ornament and one of these guys and the ender dragon was the most appealing one to me um and so many of you might know that uh they have always been you know minecraft plushes and stuff i have a few uh but the, uh, the Ender Dragon plush was the one that I really wanted the most. And everybody actually wanted it because it was just a big plush and it was just amazing and it was awesome and terrifying. Uh, but um, I never actually got a hold of that plush. So when I saw this guy, I was like, all right, I, I want to get this this Ender Dragon plush because I just really liked the um, the design of the Ender Dragon, even though that it's just black blocks that, that flies around and looks up like like a pretty generic looking dragon so i i still really liked it and but this guy will have to do for now and i don't want to spend so much money trying to find an actual you know um actual plush of the ender dragon so i don't think i'll ever be doing that um but here's the tag uh, i already showed you the tag they have done some more minecraft ones um they look pretty all right um the, the creeper is kind of the funniest because he's literally just just imagine this guy with just with a creeper skin on it but without the arms and without the legs and stuff like that so it's just a big like it looks like a um a smash bros dummy that's literally what it looks like with a creeper skin thrown on it so uh but taking a look at this guy uh he's pretty basic all these um these hallmark itty bitties plushes they're always very simple and i do like it it's kind of like they're like funko pops but for plushes and stuff like that um and it's kind of like hallmark's attempt to at making funko pops which these are quite popular um so yeah but take a look at this guy he's got these really nice felt wings they're very nice very detailed as well uh and he does have this cute little tail at the back here um and always good quality uh there has some beans on the bottom of him so he can stand up uh and i do like the actual kind of square heads here and it actually kind of feels like a fidget toy where it's like a foam interior it's not actually foam it's just his head is just stuffed with stuffing so his head is just really nice and firm and you could squish it and it won't lose its shape at all um until you squish it too hard or something like that uh, but he does have some of these these uh these um really thick um gray kind of spikes going along with these are just black gray felt 
Um, and you've got these like cute little arms here, very nice, no detail on them. Uh, and the embroidery on the eyes are really nice as well. And uh, he's kind of got this like kind of derpy looking face on him, which just kind of gives him a little bit more of a charm. And he's got some of these uh, little gray horns up here, very nice. And he's got some of these uh, little black nost uh, nostrils and stuff like that. Um, what is kind of sucky about this guy is since that he is made out of black, uh, he is like just black, right? Um, th this guy is going to attract a lot of hair and a lot of dust. Uh, and I have OCD, so uh, I was literally spending like five minutes trying to get hair off of him. And I could already see that there's cat hair and dog hair already on this guy. So I'm going to spend another five minutes and it just sends me. It actually just sends me hair, dust, anything just absolutely sends me, especially when it gets on like my action figures or my plushes. You know how much canned air I have? Oh my God. I I'm also like my canned air that I have right now is starting to run out. So I need to buy another one because... Man, I, I need to, I need, I need help. I, I need actual help. But there's no actual possibility. It's just, a, it's just a plush and it's just a really cute one. And I'm glad to have him in my collection. Uh, this is just kind of a short little video, just like with the, um, the Hallmark, uh, ornaments and stuff like that. They're always just like short little videos that I can put out there. Uh, but this guy, he's just kind of a cute one. And I hope that you guys can find him and put him into your itty bitty collection. Uh, just, just one thing that, yeah, he is, he is black and, uh, Air and dust will stick to them very easily and it is very noticeable but if you don't have ocd like me then it, you it won't be too bothered but for those who do ha do have ocd like i do eh, you may want to watch out so but I, i'm not like putting them on my review table because there's already hair and stuff on here so i don't want to get even more hair but yeah this guy is just a really cute plushie and he's just a really adorable one uh but yeah that's about it oh stay <laughs> That's about it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoy it. Like, comment, subscribe. I don't care what you do, but you guys know what time it is. So, bye, guys.